On this video, I'm going to do something a little different. I normally do text, but I thought I'd try a voiceover this time. I finally got some better equipment, so I feel like I'm set up hardware-wise. But honestly, I don't hear well, and I'm unsure how clear my voice is. But I figure if I uh, talk, I'll have more viewers on the channel. So tell me what you think, and as usual, tell me what I did right and wrong. I want to get better at this. In the last video, we added an auto nozzle scrubber. And I had you add its macro to the uh, slicer's start g-code section. A couple of my viewers reminded me that this might be better off in the printer's startup macro. And I agree with them. Having it in the slicer works okay, but putting it in the printer works even better. So let's start out by removing it from the slicer. Remember to save the change before closing the slicer. Connect to the printer and go to the machine tab. Find the printer.cfg file and click on it to edit. Rather than the uh, startup macro, I want to put it in the G32 macro. Just do a find on G32. It's also in the printer.config. This macro includes the home all, the quad gantry level, and then the important second home all. Once you've found the G32 macro, we want to add our new nozzle clean macro after the quad gantry level, but before the final home all G28 macro. This way we'll have less time to ooze out our nozzle before that final Z. Then click save and restart. Should do what we want it to now, so let's give it a try. I'll give you a little bit of an update on the channel. This won't be the last 2.4 video, but the next few printer videos will be a new series. I'll be doing a step-by-step -step video series on a Voron V0.2. It'll be based on an LDO V0S1 kit with their V02 upgrade kit. I'll throw in an occasional making type video, but I'll try not to get too carried away with them. I know most of you are here for the printer videos. I know this was a short one, but I have several more videos in the works. And again, let me know what you think about the voiceovers. I'm a little bit nervous about it. And thanks for watching.